Hi, what's Arrive Can? My name is Hussein Amir Ahmadi and I'm here with Mika. Hi, I'm Mika Fukuyama. We're going to discuss the uh, Arrive Can application today. This is the app that you need to fill out before your flight, not after you arrive here. It's before you fly. When you get here, the CBSA officer wants to, be, to see that you already have applied or uh, filled up the forms and uh, now you're ready to uh, submit it to the CBSA. So as, uh, as of September 7th, um, all the non-essential travels can enter to Canada without quarantine if you're fully vaccinated. And before flying to Canada, you should know what is a requirement for it to be um, fully vaccinated and you have to use the Arrive can. And you have to have the, your quarantine plan. It doesn't matter if you're fully vaccinated or not, because uh, just in case the officer tells you that you are not under the ex exemption. So no matter what, you need to have the quarantine plan before coming here. And when, if officer tells you that you don't have to be in quarantine, but you still need to have a plan for it. So now let's go through all the steps together. So before starting your process, if you are thinking to use the app, go to App Store, search ArriveCan, and download the app looks like this one. So after downloading your app, the screen shows like this, and we can start the process. After you read through all of these privacy notices, you can simply click OK and now you can sign into your account. But if you need to create a login account, you can simply click on create account on the bottom of the screen and you can create one for yourself. But today we are using our existing account information to sign in. After logging to your account, you will see this screen so you can simply proceed your arrive can form. And it will ask you how you are entering into Canada, either by air, land or by sea. So today I just go with by air. On the next page, it will ask you about your flight details. So the first thing, country of original departure. So this means where you are originally flying from. So um, if you are US citizen but flying from France, it will be France on this section. Today I just put the United States here and the arrival airport. It's airline company. So let's say Air Canada and a freight number. I just put the random number here. And for the date of arrival, um, this form should be completed within 72 hours prior to your arrival. So you can only choose three days ahead. So I just choose September 8th, 3.15. Okay, and we proceed to the next page. So on the next step, it will ask you if your travel is related to one of these points, such as if you are frequently crossing border or you are traveling as an essential or medical support services, or even trade and transportation services. And if you are crossing border frequently as medical support or other services, as of September 7th, once you put your information in Arrive Can, you can use this information for your future travel as well. But this time, let's go with no. On the next step, it will ask you the purpose of your travel. So you simply choose whatever it matches to your situation. So today I just choose the US citizen. And now you provide your passport or other travel document information. If you choose passport, it will pop up your camera and you can simply scan your passport or if you want to enter manually, you can close this screen and go enter manually. So after completing your passport information, you can add another traveler if you travel with somebody else. 
And the next step is your contact information. So you should provide your phone number here. And from this step, it's about your COVID-19 vaccine information. As of September 7th, if you want to enter Canada without a quarantine, you should be fully vaccinated. So if you press yes, it will ask you your vaccine information. For the first step, you should give them uh, which vaccine you received for your first dose and which country you received your first one. And date of your first vaccine dose. And next step, your second dose information. And for your date of your second dose vaccine, you should be careful that you should be vaccinated before 14 days over your travel into Canada. And after completing this information, it will pop up section to upload your proof of vaccination. So you can click on add file or photo and you can choose either take photo by camera or choose from gallery or files. And this is the requirements for travel. So you need to read through it and from the next page, it will ask you about your COVID situation. Whether you have tested positive for COVID between 14 to 180 days before your departure, or if you already have a proof of negative COVID test no more than 72 hours before your departure of your flight, um, this means it doesn't matter if you are fully vaccinated or not, you still need the pre-arrival COVID test and you should have a negative COVID test result with you. And the country received your negative test. And this is about your travel history. In the last 14 days, if you or anyone traveling with you visited any other countries or not. So I go with me. And from this section, you should complete your quarantine plan. It doesn't matter you are fully vaccinated and exempt from quarantine. You still need to give them a plan in case the officer tells you that you are not exempt. So you should give them, if you have any accommodation, you can quarantine for 14 days or possibly longer. So I just go with yes. And if you can avoid contact with other people during the quarantine. And also if you are able to get necessities of your life, such as water, food, or medication without leaving your house. If, and if there is anyone at risk people at your location where you plan to quarantine, such as over 65 years old or who has medical conditions. And this is about the living environment. And this is asking you that if your quarantine location has somebody works as a frontline workers, such as nurses, doctors, or support workers. And if your quarantine place is a group living environment or not. This is such as a shelter, group home, or student residence, or small apartment that you share with someone else. So finally, you should give them your quarantine location. 
So you choose either returning home, staying with friends or family, hotel or others. So I just put the returning form today. And here's the last step. You should complete COVID-19 self-assessment. If you or any of your traveler experience these following symptoms such as fever, cough, or difficulty breathing, 